dear colleagues and organizers, uh, on behalf of our team, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to present selected results worked out in Nea Paphos in Cyprus. Is it working? No. Is it on? Yes. Uh, it will be the key issue to demonstrate that uh, interpretation of archaeological sites essentially concentrating on prospection and digital data could be misleading under certain conditions. After a short introduction to the site and the objectives of the project in general, I will focus on the topic announced. The project Geophysical Prospection of Neapaphos is part of the cooperation between the Jagodonian University in Krakow and Hamburg University, led by Evdoxia papuzzi Waldika and Martina Seifert since 2015. Located in the southwestern Cyprus and being one of the prominent Greek-Roman port settlements, with a foundation dated in the 4th century BC, the city of ancient Paphos obtained enhanced protection status by UNESCO Committee for the Protection of Cultural Property in November 2010, and it was capital, cultural capital of Europe in 2017 too. Sustaining the outstanding universal, uh, universal value of the site, the reconstruction of the cityscape is one of the prominent issues in archaeological fieldwork. The project takes place in the archaeological park in nowadays Paphos, which covers most, uh, most part of the ancient city, approximately 75 hectares. Because of its uh, well-known history, the site will give the unique chance to, uh, for a complex research on a larger scale than on any other Eastern Mediterranean urban settlement. Approximately three-fourths of the ancient city never were overbuilt. One issue that proves uh, any interpretation of the achieved data difficult is caused by the anthropogenic sediments covering a vast area of the archaeological park. Layers uh, of one to two me meter, mainly stone rubble and pottery, probably containing former wall fillings and other population activities were laid down over centuries. Furthermore, the geophysical survey is surrounded by the dense vegetation at the site, as you can see. Uh, the main research objective of the joint Polish-German uh, uh, Polish expedition is the development of a broad and integrated approach in modeling ancient cities' landscapes in order to work out their general urban layout and infrastructure. The special focus lies on interpreting the data by uh, experimenting with a combination of methods and workflows. As you can see, um, we are uh, doing desktop studies, field work with remote sensing and geophysics, and the post-processing um, at the site and also uh, in Hamburg and in Krakow. Uh, I'm, for myself, I'm conducting the magnetic survey, uh, but the colleagues, if there is any question about the ex um, excavations or uh, the remote sensing are also here, so, to, just so you know. <coughs> Uh, here are the um, most common methods we are using at the site. Um, the magnetic mapping uh, of so far total 18.2 hectares of the entire park was carried out by using five-channel flux gate gradimeter system. Um, in addition, the geophysical work also includes non-invasive ground radar surveys, magnetic susceptibility and in future resistivity measurements. The data were partly specified by uh, geoarchaeological drillings and ar archaeological excavations. The, the, the geodetic survey and GIS implementation were performed by Lukas Bonk and Veronika Wignarska uh, using a differential GPS system. In addition, colleagues from Warsaw University under Wojtek Ostrowski carried out a complete, complete recording of the site using UAV and developing a terrain model out of the data. In course of the of 2016 and 17 excavations by Jagiellonian University, uh, the University of Hamburg realized a geophysical survey compromising the southern and western part of the ancient urban space, as well as the plains in the north. The field mapping refers to recognizable uh, ancient buildings, remains, and urban infrastructure, but also a lot of modern disturbances and rubbish. Um, some remarks here. Uh, a multi-phase street grid in the north and south of the city could be traced by orientation and subdivision, leading to a new interpretation of the street alignment of Neapathos, here in yellow, the south. Uh, it is followed by the main sewage pipes in the south, which runs along the roads and uh, led into the sea in the west. Aside from monumental and representative 
a vast number of individual buildings and ancient fortifications were re registered. The density of anomalies leads to an ambiguous vis visualization at the first glance, but can be read in context. Based on three short case studies, we would like to show what difficulties a purely prospection-based interpretation can lead to. Therefore, we will uh, look at areas on the northwest coast, on the northern edge of the ancient city and the economic center, the Agora. Our first case study is intended to highlight the difficulties that can arise despite the successful interpretation and localization of specific findings. On the northern edge of the city, an ancient industrial district was already assumed before the, our inv investigations. Our first interpretations uh, revealed possible indications of thermoremanent anomalies in this area. On the suspect, uh, suspected kiln uh, was then exposed at the last year's summer campaign. Um, the problem, despite its uh, successful location and uh, in an assumed industrial area, all evidence in terms of construction and backfilling points to a late Roman dating of the finding. This is one of the main problems in studying ancient cities that have been inhabited for centuries. What is the best way to handle the chronological overlaps? A continu continuity of uh, using the area for the same purposes is of course possible. However, such results makes it difficult to draw a profound outline of an industrial area uh, on the city map. Our results indicate more kilns, further excavations will then be carried out, uh, or will be necessary, to be able to get more accurate idea of the chronology and economic infrastructure in the north. For our second case study, we move to the northwest coast outside the ancient city center, uh, city wall. What about complex findings that are not so clear to differentiate? The existence of a second harbor in the northeast part of the city was formulated in the early 50s by Kyriakos Nikolaou. Our interpretations, made on basis of the terrain model and satellite images and geoarchaeological prospection, led to the assumption of a possible um, bas basin for ships or some kind of harbor. Um, further magnetic survey indicated possible infrastructure buildings of a second harbor next to the basin. Last spring, <coughs> two test trenches on the spot of promising findings uh, were opened uh, to subs uh, substantiate this thesis. In both sections, ancient findings were initially uncovered, but don't actually uh, match the assumed, uh, assumed uh, walls, but foundations covered by a thick layer of pottery. Especially the second trench quickly turned out to be a strate strategically a highly complex finding. The size of the second uncovered structures and the density of various findings up to a depth of three meters, whose evaluation has just begun, were astonishing. Under the dense carpet of pottery, evidences of using the site as a quarry were found. Furthermore, a Roman grave, which was incorporated into the substructures of a probably former thermal bath, was uncovered. <clears throat> Above the Roman layers was a compact layer of fine construction sand modern construction sand, which was applied there in the 1960s, as we got to learn recently by the Matthias Michaelides. Even before the analysis of the artifacts and the chronology, it is apparent that the methods used have helped us to de uh, detect ancient findings, though evidence of harbor structures could not be determined. Having in mind that the findings are up to three meters beneath the social coastline, we can hardly wait for the results of the geoarchaeological drillings performed by a team from Kielce University under Tomasz Kalitski. However, <clears throat> with the excavations, new questions arise about the extent of the city in different periods. For our last case study, we will take a closer look to the Agora, the economic and topographic center of the ancient city. Already in 2015, we conducted magnetic survey on the Agora and some area further to the south to test our method in upcoming conditions. The, magnet <coughs> the magnetic maps provide some evidence of ancient building remains, which could be confirmed by test trenches. However, the picture was still much undifferentiated, since uh, near the surface many modern disturbances were um, expected. Due to the terrain conditions without significant vegetation and the relatively flat surface, surface uh, we decided this year to undertake a systematic mapping with the ground radar. 
The time slices of the ground radar mapping shows possible remains of foundations or, or walls directly below uh, the current ground level. The reflections can sometimes be traced down to 40 nanoseconds depth. The overall map of reflections shows a dense development in the southeast of the Agora. Furthermore, the northern portic could be detected. At last, a prominent structure, probably a wall, lies north south direction in the middle of the Agora and is interpreted by the colleagues uh, as a possible predecessor of the later marketplace. The ground radar provided far more differentiated results on the Agora than the magnetic survey. Still, nonetheless, one problem remains. The foundations and walls uncovered during the excavations can be assigned to different areas, eras, although they are partly at the same high level. In our case, despite the uh, more feasible prospection of the GPR and precise assignment, assignment of the findings without digging remains inaccurate. Uh, in the forthcoming season, we would like to continue our comp uh, comparative studies and focus on attention, especially on the investigation of uh, the Hellenistic Roman road, road grid. Sections of the Hellenistic Roman road uh, can be easily uh, reconstructed, giving us a first impression of the northern part of the city. Several of the Comanian cardies can be traced with uh, um, crossover and uh, form intersections. In particular, the intersection between a bigger Decomanus and Cardo here pointed out in red, uh, possibly the center, uh, central main junction leading to the Agora will be investigated. The assessor for the identification of main road axis were the granite columns on the Agora, which have also lights, uh, lined some of the antique main streets. The comparison between the measurements and anomaly sizes allowed us to address some features of the suspected column streets as a remnant of such column positions. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we, have, we have this indication for it. <coughs> uh, here we would like to refer to an aerial photograph uh, and uh, the magnetic maps, which used uh, us as a different course of the street grid in comparison to the street grid proposed by Yolanta Monacic in the 1990s. Further ar archaeological ev evidence for our thesis is also based on current excavations by colleagues from the Sydney University under Craig Barker, uh, who were able to expose a central road access near the Theatre Hill, um, Fabrica Hill, where they also exposed some of these columns. Coming to a, a conclusion, although the methods used provide a first overview and a possibility to carry out further in investigation, it remains that due to the complex um, complexity of the site, uh, the different building materials and the partly modern disturbances uh, attempt on a pure database analysis must remain more than specula speculative. In our case, there seems to be no possibility of using only database computational or quantitative analysis for a proper inter interpretation or reconstruction. There is no other solution but digging to get a proper idea of the site. Thank you very much.